ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ಮನೋಹ ಬಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ ಲಂಘಯತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನವಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತೋಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚಾರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕಿಕೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸ್ಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸತಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾವತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ಬಂಧೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಹುತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದು ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪಂ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ ತ್ವಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಕರ್ಮಾವಲಂಬಕಾ ಕಚಿತ್ ಕೆಚಿತ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಾವಲಂಬಕ ವಯಂ ತು ಹರಿದಾಸ ಪಾದತ್ರಂಬಕ ಕ 
कर्मावलंबका केचित केचित ज्ञान अवलंबका वयम तो हरिदासानम पादत्राण अवलंबका गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपाद परमंस जगदगुरु टोल वेन वी आर गोइंग टू गेट कृपा फुल कृपा अ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव देन बी श्योर वी आर गोइंग टू गेट द कृपा ऑफ भगवान गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपाद परमंस जगदगुरु टोल If we are going to get full kripa of pure Guru Vaishnav, in that case, be sure we are going to get the kripa of Bhagwan Himself. Because anyway, Bhagwan not going to bestow kripa directly. Bhagwan not going to bestow kripa directly. It is the procedure. Bhagwan reserve this kind of procedure. That you will have to get kipa through Guru Vaishnav. So naturally, Sila Sachidananda Bhakti Mitra was crying. Sila Sachidananda Bhakti Mitra was crying and speaking. Vaishnava Vishash Vidhi Hope Khane Khane. The day we can realize this point, hundred percent we can get success in this life. You need not wait. What is this point? Bhakti Mitra was crying and speaking. वैष्णवे विश्वास विद्धि हो खने खरे इन वन कीर्तन ओ प्रभु यू ब्लेस मी सो दैट एवरी फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड आई कैन इंक्रीज माई बिलीव इन गुरु वैष्णव दैट इज द फाउंडेशन ऑफ योर डिवोशनल प्रैक्टिस डिवोशनल लाइफ बट यू डोंट गिव एनी इम्पॉर्टेंसी यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द वाइटल पॉइंट that if we are successful to believe guru vishnu 100% then there is no question of any fall down this is because we cannot believe guru vishnu 100% okay we can believe but maybe 60% 50% 80% not fully that's why i told many time you know this is the vichar of sila pavapat that we are more or less contaminated with mayavad vichar more or less we are contaminated with mayavad that mean if we don't have 100% belief in vishnu that mean there is you are going to reserve some space for doubt that vishnu is not eternal vishnu is not transcendent oh vishnu is like me i is also sick i am also sick vishnu also taking prasadam i am taking he is also taking rest i am also taking rest what difference in it this kind of you know attitude cannot allow you to believe guru vishnu 100% this kind of attitude we are going to express some doubt in guru vishnu always that is that is why we cannot make havoc progress in our bhajan we cannot do it. that is a vital point many time popad used to say the day you can realize the day you can realize that what harinam you are doing hari krishna you are speaking na harina when you can think we can when you can not think when you can realize 100% that harinam you are speaking hari krishna and the hari bhagwan himself all identical the day the day you can realize the day you can realize that harinam you are speaking and hari himself all non different from each other till then you cannot get success till then you cannot get whatever you can do whatever you can do but you cannot any kind of austerities penances you know so much thing you are donation going to different pilgrimages to have a you know circumbulance you know you can do but no result no result that's why popa many time used to say the day you can realize that the harinam you are speaking and the hari non different from each other the day you can realize that gurudev is non different from bhagwan the day you can realize the 
Gurudev is non different from Bhagavan, then you can. Otherwise, you know. So, somebody putting question, so somebody putting question in front of Prabhupada, uh, that, uh, that how, how we can realize that we are doing bhajan perfectly? How we can realize? Papa speaking, this is the only way. You will have to develop a hundred, you will have to mean, no, there is no force is applicable. It's an automatic factor. So they, they, the day you can do, develop a hundred percent faith in Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan, that is your final platform. So many times Papa used to say, to do Harinam, and to meet with Hari, same. Many times Baba used to say, to do Harinam and to meet with Hari, Bhagavan. To do Bhagavan Nam, Harinam, and to meet with Bhagavan, all the same. How you can believe? To speak Harinam, every Harinam, when you are doing, you will have to meet with Bhagavan. Not that your mind going this way, your, you know, this way you have. In trouble, you cannot do bhajan. This is really a miracle. You, I know you cannot believe that a Sadguru can have such a tremendous power because Pope was repeatedly speaking Guru Pat Padma, Sadguru, not Asadguru. I am always speaking about standard thing. Many times Pope used to, too, used to speak that Sadguru is a Purna Shakti of Bhagavan. Many times Baba used to see in Harikatha and writing that Sadguru is a Purna Shakti. Sadguru is a Sadguru is a Purna Shakti. Sadguru is a Purna Shakti of Bhagavan. Sadguru is a Purna Shakti of your Bhagavan. And you cannot believe, I know you cannot believe, that a Sadguru can transfer power to use havoc power. It's an automatic factor when you are doing Guru Seva, when you are doing perfect Guru Seva, when you are doing perfect Guru Seva. Perfect Guru Seva means by your Seva, Gurudev is feeling satisfaction. Follow what I say. Perfect Guru Seva means, what do you mean by perfect? I am doing perfectly, Maharaj. I am doing perfectly everything. Not that. Perfect Guru Seva means, your Gurudev is 100% satisfied with you. From heart, bless you. Not that you have efficiency to edit something, do something, right? Then you can say, I am doing perfect Seva, Maharaj. That is not perfect. Perfect Seva means, when you are able to draw the attention of Gurudev 100%. Gurudev is going to bless you. Very happy inside heart. Irrespective of efficiency and caste, that's not a big issue. When Gurudev is very much satisfied with you, then automatically you can feel some power inside your heart. Automatically you can find tremendous power in you. Today I can give some example. Today I am going to glorify such a great Vaishnava. That even in dream you cannot imagine. That's why it is our duty to glorify all pure Goishna, pure Guru Vaishna from all Gauriya Mat, Gauriya society. It is our duty. It is our duty, main duty, to glorify all pure, pure Guru Vaishna so that the whole world can have the knowledge, can have the idea that Gauriya Mat, what is Gauriya Mat? And what is Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Krishna? So you can realize. So a Sadguru can transfer any amount of power inside you. Like the case of Ishwar Puripad. Ishwar Puripad going to Ishwar Puripad going to get the full power. Ishwar Puripad going to get the full power. Ishwar Puripad going to get the full power, full kripa of Madhavendra Puripad. It's quite natural. Don't think otherwise. So today I am going to discuss first about this uh, Gauriya Mat devotees, 
I mean, my Gurudev, Sila, Bhakti, Prakash, Aranya Goswami Maharaj. Perhaps I, perhaps, perhaps you never heard. Perhaps you never heard. Perhaps the whole world is blind about his character, transcendental character. I am sure about you. Not perhaps. Not perhaps. I am sure that nobody knows about this great Vishnu. So, I can prove what is called Sadguru Kipa and what is not possible by Sadguru Kipa. That I am going to prove, prove today. Srila Aranya Maharaj took birth in Noah Khali. At present Bangladesh, that, one, that, time it was, that time it was undivided India. That time, that time it was undivided India. So I would say that it was uh, Noah Khali, East Bengal. After that, day by day, first point, he is not at all educated. First point is that he is not at all educated, even he don't know what is A, B, C, D, don't know. He have no idea the O, A, K, K, no idea, no alphabet, no knowledge of alphabet. Was from a very poor family. So in a very poor family. But finally, he came and joined Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada. Somehow there was Varikatha in his Bengal. He came and joined Gauriyamar and he was very jolly personality. Jolly man, when everybody can like him. Nobody can hate him. Nobody can hate him. He's so nice, catchy personality. But he was very straightforward. He can never make any compromise with your wrong Siddhanta or wrong doings, wrong efficacy. He cannot be here. Even one single point. He can catch you. Hey, what you are doing? He can say, what, what you are doing? Then he can say, what you are doing? So, cannot be here. Very much punctual, very much, you know, very much punctual, very much sincere, 100% inclined. Man, whatever qualities we can expect, whatever qualities we can expect in a, in a Vaishnava, Whatever quality we can and uh, expect in a Vaishnava to have, all qualities you can find. But one point is very much illiterate. I don't know even no alphabet, knowledge of alphabet. What to do? Then he came to Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada, and he took Harinam, Diksha, everything follow. After that, he is asking Prabhupada, 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 what seva I can do? What seva you suggest? What seva you suggest for me? He is asking. Prabhupada speaking, well, you can uh, preach enthusiastic way. Oh, wow. You can go on preaching all the time. All the time you speak Sautabhani. All the time you speak Sautabhani. I mean, According to Guru Parampara, Sautu Parampara, whatever fact, whatever Siddhanta Vichar, whatever, whatever Siddhanta Vichar, what transcendental knowledge coming to you, you will have to repeat it. That is yourself. Huh? Prabhupada, I am actually illiterate. So what? He is asking, Prabhupada, you give me this seva. Actually, I am illiterate. You see the power of Sadguru. Prabhupada can understand the heart of any devotee. Popat can understand the heart of any devotee. Popat is not foolish. That is, he is not educated. And whereas Popat is going to give him preaching seva, Popat is foolish, you think? What do you think? Popat can understand. That's why Popat repeatedly told, repeatedly, that's why Popat repeatedly told, preaching cannot be done by language. Preaching can be done, cannot be done by language only. Preaching can only be done by Baba, what you are getting. Kripa of Guru Kripa. Whatever Kripa you are getting, if you, if you are going to speak about your direct relation, even, even language, your language is not so good. But still, if you are going to represent actual Baba, what you got from your Gurudev, 
then people they are bound to accept people they are bound to feel some reaction inside heart it's a must only by the help of language you cannot preach a oh, language can help you that's not bad but only by the help of language only by your tremendous memory efficiency i mean oratorship preaching cannot be done preaching only can be done by guru kipa all this preaching this in this preaching field if you see if we say that we have done massive preaching it is obsolete many time i told this word is totally obsolete you can you should not speak this word you should not speak the offensive it is offensive also but what kind of preaching you can do how many people massive preaching only we can say at the time of chaitanya mahapu chaitanya mahapu done massive preaching chaitanya mahapu done narottam thakur done wherever gone rasikanand babu done wherever going up preaching are even elephant even elephant going to obey even elephant wild elephant going to take harinam and is regulated by samananda so only they can speak only popat can speak but other people they should not speak massive preaching my preaching means preaching means if i am going to speak in front of you my character my behavior my etiquette my siddhanta vichar my everything going to put some impression inside your heart otherwise my preaching is useless if my character is not good my etiquette say my siddhanta vichar all on the annavilas i have then i have going to speak harikatha simply simply i am going to contaminate your heart by harikatha simply i am going to contaminate your heart by harikatha because contamination there like corona contamination is already there so i am going to speak as contamination can be translated to you you can also do well but i hear harikatha maharaj i hear you hear harikatha milk is always milk is always healthy milk is always ideal food but if milk some snack going to touch if some snack going to touch milk if some snack going to touch the milk you can say well i have i have taken and a milk but so what so what you have taken milk but you have no information there was poison mixed with poison that's why it matters little whether you are big pandit or not that's not a big many such example i can give about about padapad rama aba uh, you know about padapad i can speak shankara jaja padapad illiterate illiterate totally but he is reciting all uh, uh, you know shloka from vedanta and doing uh, explaining everything automatically by hearing only so when prabhu is going to give this kind of seva to him he is speaking prabhu i am not educated how i get don't worry it is your duty you now here you never try to forget this one what prabhu is specifically speaking harikatha mean harikatha mean to speak what you heard from your guru parampara harikatha doesn't mean you can make some you can make some different philosophy you can make some you know separate you know siddhanta which are not that then you are deviated harikatha mean you you will have to speak about what you heard according to guru parva roop sanatan jiva gosai pad batar gunat bhakti vinod thakur or you know all you will have to recite that is called harikatha harikatha doesn't mean a fine lecture harikatha doesn't mean who man care to hear your we have no time to hear your lecture who man care to hear your lecture but police world they have no idea what is harikatha what is material uh, lecture they have no idea because they are not uh, going to get actual satsang the main problem in this world the main vital problem the nobody can understand what is satsang or what is a satsang nobody can understand even 20 years 25 years they in, in a month 
but they don't understand what is asasanga, what is asasanga. How unknowingly, how unknowingly you are doing asasanga, you have no idea. You are foolish, number one. That's why it is written in Chaitanya Charitamita, Shiddhanta Boliya Chitte Nakara Alash, Iha Vaite Krishna Lage Sudhira Manos. Be careful, very vital point. Don't forget this point. Krishna Das Kaviriya Goswami in Krishna Chaitanya Jaya, you can find that Siddhanta, about Siddhanta, regarding Siddhanta Vichar, Regarding Siddhanta Bichar, if you are going to uh, express your, you know, useless mood, uh, you are very ideal. Oh, it's very tough. Uh, what do you mean by tough? Why you are coming here to, eh, in bhajan field, not to dedicate? Eh? You coming here under Lotus Vita Guru, not to dedicate your life? Oh, so tough. Tough mean? You have no right to speak this very tough, Maharaja. No. Foolish. You have no right to speak this. How you can speak? Because you come. You have taken resolution. Do or die. I can get Bhagavan or I can die. I, I cannot make any compromise with this between these two. No. So, Siddhanta Bariya Chitte Nakaro Allah's Krishna Das writing very vital point. Regarding, sub -sid regarding Siddhanta Bichar, if you are going to express your, you know, Lethargy, lethargy, you know? Lethargy, oh, I can do all Lethargy. Regarding Siddhanta Bichar, if you are going to express your lethargy, then you are going to commit suicide because you cannot come out. If one Acharya, if one perfect sadhu who is going to preaching, if he is not established in the Acharana of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, if he has no idea about what is Siddhanta, what preaching he can do? Preaching, what kind of preaching? Cheating. He cannot do preaching, you can cheating. Preaching and cheating. It's not preaching. If you say Maharaj is going for preaching, but he has no Siddhanta, now how is possible? What you can give to public? Eh? What you can give? You are going to take pranami, pranami donation from you, what you can give? You cannot give your power, you have no Guru Kipa. No, no Guru Kipa. I told you now, when you are feeling overflowing mercy, when you are flowing overflowing mercy, your Gurudev giving so mercy, you are feeling overflowing mercy, then you will have to go best to Kipa among innocent people in the world. That is called preaching foolish. Preaching doesn't mean to speak some dry philosophy and get clapping and collect money. Foolish. So, if somebody is speaking, he is a nice Vaishnava Maharaj, he is a nice Guru, but uh, Siddhanta is not. You are foolish. You are foolish. Guru, having no knowledge about Siddhanta Vichar, Guru, but Guru acting as Guru, nice Guru, if you are speaking, like this kind of Siddhanta, oh, nice Guru Maharaj, but I have no Siddhanta Vichar, is absurd. Is absurd. If Guru, he must be knowing, he must be knowing Siddhanta Vichar. And if somebody having complete Siddhanta Vichar, he must be Guru. Maybe he is not giving initiation, but he is Guru. That's why it is the Siddhanta Vichar, that's why, that's why it is the perfect Siddhanta Vichar of Siman Mahaprabhu. What Mahaprabhu told? What Mahaprabhu told? Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta Sai Guru Hoi. Mahaprabhu speaking this perfect Siddhanta Vichar. Mahaprabhu speaking himself. The perfect Siddhanta Vichar. Jai Krishna Tattva Vetta Sai Guru Hoi. Who is having full knowledge about Siddhanta Vichar? Surely he is Guru. But Guru having no Siddhanta, absurd. It, it, it cannot so happen. It cannot so happen. It is absurd. Follow. So today you have no right to speak that Srila Bhakti Prakash Aranya Maharaj is not Guru. He is having full knowledge about Siddhanta Bicha. I can prove it. He has taken sannyas from Prabhupada. You know, Prabhupada is not foolish. Prabhupada speaking, well, you can go and go on speaking about what you heard. I know you cannot read any book, but you go 
what you heard, you go on speaking, Harikatha Abhruva. Because he was one kind of recorder. Recorder, you know? Whenever he is here, some devotees are there. When they are hearing some Siddhanta Vijas from Guru Vishnu, they can memorize. They can memorize. How wonder? Even they can speak the slok intact. In my life, I am speaking. I am in Vyasasan. I never tried to record any Harikatha of Guru Maharaj because Guru Maharaj, whenever somebody is going to record, is the hey, here. Try to record here in heart, inside heart. What do they used to say? Previously, somebody recorded, maybe. But recording is necessary, but Guru Maharaj used to say. But you record here. Follow. So, whenever he, you know, he used to hear Harikatha from Popa, all word to word, even intact punctuation, punctuation, no? Punctuation, dot, full stop, you know, hyphen, all he can remember. Miracle. Miracle. He could remember everything. Whatever he is hearing from Vaishnava, he can hear. So, Popa speaking, you can go and you can go and start preaching. Everywhere, always you speak Harikatha, don't stop. The miracle. Whereas educated people, Baba said, no, don't go to preaching, you sit. <laughs> educated. Well, Baba said, no, you sit here, do some seva here. Whereas he is uneducated, uneducated, illiterate, not uneducated, illiterate. You can do go for preaching. Really miracle? Miracle? By the power of Prabhupada, he used to preach such a way. Even I know you cannot believe. I know you because you cannot imagine even in dream. It's possible for him to preach. In, wherever he is speaking Harikatha, anybody sitting, everybody sitting, they are going to touch their heart. Feeling, power. So, he used to love Sila, uh, you know, Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami Maharaj, Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. He used to love everybody, you know, anyway. So, he's very senior of Madhav Goswami Maharaj. When Madhav Goswami Maharaj, you know, came to take shelter and rule lotus with the Prabhupada, by that time, he was renting one room nearby, temple. Not directly coming to temple. By that time, he was doing some, say, I mean, job and to earn some money anyway. He was following on rules and regulation of uh, 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 everything what Popa told, Harinam, Tiksha, he took, but not directly going to join Gauriamat. That time what happens? One day, Kittanananda Prabhu, Kittanananda, his name is Kittanananda Brahmachari, Kittanananda Brahmachari and Arana Maharaj, both of them going to meet with Hayagir Brahmachari. I mean, there's Bhamaj. They love him because very nice looking, soft behavior, very catchy personality. And let us go. Where, where you are? Why? Let us go to high grip there. This going. Then he discover one very nice picture of Gauranga Mahapu. Very nice picture of Gauranga Mahapu. Sankirtan Pita. Then Aranamaj coming, he paid Dandavat. Maharaj Dandavat. High grip Bhamaj paid Dandavat. This picture, very nice for you. Yes, Maharaj, I like this picture to see. I like this picture to see. So what you, what you propose? This picture is going to give you satisfaction or you can give satisfaction to this picture by understanding this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. What is good? You think it is good that picture can give, you know, give some enjoyment to you. You can just look at that picture. Or you can give some satisfaction to the picture by thinking that picture is Gauranga. What is it? Oh, well, well. Uh, sorry, sorry. From then onward, it started. And uh, who cooking? Who cooking? I actually, I engage one, I engage one Brahmin Uriya to cook. Why? Your hand already eaten by crocodile? Or your hand eaten by crocodile? You are engaging one paid man to cook? Foolish? He is chiding to Hayagi Brahmachari. He is not speaking anything. And Kithananda Prabhu is speaking, well, he is from a high family. He is not habituated to cook. Why you are speaking this way? And Madhav Goswami hearing. I mean, Hayagi Brahmachari. Then, 
Arunama was speaking. Hey, if I am not speaking, who can speak? I am God brother. If I am not speaking, who can speak? I love him very much. Madhav Goswami, I am in the high giver, very much pleased by hearing this kind of affection. Inner affection, not external affection. I love you, love me, not that. False emotion. Actual, perfect affection. After that, Srila Hagi Brahmachari joined Gauriamat, I mean, you know, joined Gauriamat, I mean, started doing direct seva, Prabhupada, anyway. This way, all the time, he used to come and meet Hayagi Brahmachari, I mean, Madhav Goswami. He used to love him, I don't know why. Vaishnava always loving everybody, but special love for him. Wherever he is going, properly, he was a mobile Goryamat. He was a mobile Goryamat. Sometime Maharaj speaking Harikatha here, and just uh, two hours after, some are gone. Speaking Harikatha there. After the night time, speaking Harikatha there. Uh, morning time, gone to some place. Mobile Goryamat. And wherever, travelling in train, travelling in bus, anywhere travelling, all speaking Harikatha. He had no bank account. He's a penniless devotee. Very, very. Somebody giving something is very. Follow. When going to when going to ride one bus, if conductor speaking, hey, uh, Maharaj, give me, huh? foolish. You are asking you are asking ticket from me. Whose bus? Eh? Osur e lutia khai. Osur the demons they are you know you know enjoying. This bus is Krishna's bus. I am doing Krishna Seva. What ticket? You can give money to me. You can give money to me. Eh? What you are doing? Conductor cannot speak because his heart is genuine heart. Eh? His heart is genuine heart. The same thing happened with me. I used to travel without ticket in Vrindavan, Bas, train. But TT coming, not speaking anything to me. He looked at me and not speaking anything to me. <laughs> but I don't know. I am travelling you soon. Now I have <laughs> this way. So it's, uh, it depends upon the Kipa Bhagavan, you know. So one day, many times it happens so. Many times, not one day. But one instant I am speaking. Our, you know, Parambhajit Keshav Goswami Maharaj, Bana Goswami Maharaj, follow, Arunna Maharaj, they are going for preaching in Orissa field, Revensa College, Revensa. Kotok Revensa, Kotok Revensa College. Eight big, big professors there. They arrange one function. They will arrange one function there. And our, you know, Banango Maharaj speaking Harikatha. Kesav Goswami speaking Harikatha. All speaking Harikatha. Two hours gone. After that, they requesting. Bhakti Prakash Aranya Maharaj to speak Harikatha. Kesav Goswami was speaking, I just turned. So when Aranya Maharaj was speaking Harikatha, all the professor of the university, all the professor present, all erudite scholars there, they are asking in which subject you have done doctorate. In wh on which subject you have done doctorate. He is asking, Maharaj, please, please, I, we have some question to you. In which subject you have done special, you know, doctorate? Doctorate? <laughs> illiterate. Doctorate, not illiterate. But his language, his representation, his representation of his Gurudev, all same. So powerful. Nobody can understand even in dream, he is illiterate. But he is speaking so nicely, like a great professor, Pandit. Yes, like that. This is the power of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami. If Prabhupada wants, then he can make me dance according to the music, you know, musical instrument. <laughs> Prabhupada is so powerful that Prabhupada can make me dance. Prabhupada staying here in India, Mayapur, Calcutta, but Bhano Goswami are dancing there. <laughs> Banagoswami dancing in Germany, in England. Banagoswami dancing, Harikatha. Goswami Maharaj. But long ago, thousands of miles away. 
So always try to remember the power of Sadguru. If you are able to harmonize your heart with Guru Padma, it matters little how long you are staying away from Guru Padma. That's not a big issue. That's a direct document. Keshav Goswami Maharaj passing remark. Keshav Goswami was bound to pass, pass remark. That was the power of Paupad. That was the power of Paupad that even one illiterate disciple can speak like a great, great Pandit. Even great, great Pandit cannot stand in front of you. After Harikata, somebody speaking, Maharaj, this slok, where from you speak? From Bhagavatam, fifth, fifth canto, 70, fifth canto, uh, third chapter, 77 70 number sloka. Can remember, miracle. Miracle, he can remember everything. Not only stroke and explanation of Prabhupada, explanation by Prabhupada. He can remember everything. Sloka number and the pronunciation also perfect, like Pandit. Not that illiterate is speaking the wrong pronunciation, not that. Nobody knows he is illiterate. How, how it was expressed? But one day, he, I already told, he used to uh, come to uh, visit our Bhakti, you know, Daito Madhu Goswami Maharaj. That time, our Bharati Maharaj was Narutama Bhamachari. Narutama Bhamachari. He used to love Narutama Bhamachari. He used to love him. And very often, uh, he used to take Madhu Maharaj. I mean, I like to take your Bhamachari with me. Okay, you can take for yourself. You can take him. No jealousy. Now, if your disciple coming to you, hey, don't go to Sam Baba. Why you are going? He is speaking this way. He has no Vaishnavism. Okay, I have no wisdom. <laughs> what do you mean by Vaishnavism? Vaishnavism means if I can cheat you perfectly, then I have Vaishnavism. If I cannot cheat you, then I am not Vaishnav. If I can cheat you perfectly, then I am Vaishnav. This is the Siddhanta which are at present going on anyway. So, one day, Maharaj coming to Chaitanya Gorimat. And uh, our Narutama Brahmachari giving some seva to him. Going to, uh, there is one paper, written paper. You can check up and make some, make some correction of this paper. Narutama Brahmachari now new, newly joined. Newly joined temple. But Aranama speaking, hey, there is one writing. You in front of me, you sit. I can give you pen, you can uh, check up if there is a you know, mistake, you can rectify and give to me. Bharati Maharaj wonder, his big Maharaj is there, he can speak Harikata, why not he can uh, himself? Okay, as per the order is doing, and hand over the paper, and coming outside, and asking to one of his godbrother, to why Ananda Maharaj is a great Pandit, and why he is going to give me order, to, for the correction of this paper. He is asking to his godbrother. Well, you foolish. You don't know he is illiterate. Illiterate? He is illiterate? Yes. He is illiterate. But don't think. Great Pandit. He is illiterate. That's why he gave up. But, but Narthama Prabhupada is not going to make this point. He is not make one issue. Because Vaishnava is Vaishnava. Vaishnava not depend upon how much education you have, how much tall figure, how much, you know, this is not different. Vaishnavism never depend upon this way. Anyway, this way, this way, this, this you know, Aranda Maharaj used to preach everywhere. Everywhere. So many qualities I like to speak, but I think you cannot uh, give me time, sufficient time. He never used to he never used to accept more than enough. Ah, is enough. No, no. Ah, you can keep it up. No. Somebody is speaking, Maharaj, I am giving to you. Ah, I don't need. You can keep it. After you can. No. No. You can take away. Well, why? But uh, Maharaj is speaking one sloka from, you know, Bhagavad Gita. Ananyas chintyanto je yanamam parjupasate tesam nittavi yuktanam jogokhema bahamyam. When Bhagavan is there, he can give everything, whatever he need. Why should I deposit? Why should I deposit? 
pen, pencil, cloth, why? I can deposit. Well, Bhagavan can give whatever I need. Unless I can make a stock and you know, there is no place for stocking this kind of thing. One Brahmachari complained to me in Chaitanya Guru in Calcutta, Mara, I am not going to speak the name. But well, I asked, I asked for one cloth from that Maharaj. The Maharaj like to sell cloth to me. But if you open the Almira, total full of cloth. You, you can think this one kind of <laughs> is one kind of market. You can see one kind of shop. One kind of shop of you know cloth. But whereas they like to sell the cloth to this poor Brahmachari. They like to get Maharaj, I like to get my cloth is torn. Uh, this price you will have to give. He said, okay. This is the condition of our bhajan. Follow. We cannot believe that Bhagavan can give everything. Bhagavan can give everything. We cannot believe. If you have 100% belief, then Bhagavan can give anything what you need anywhere. One or two cases I can speak. Maharaj actually used to travel in train, sometime Narottam Brahmachari there, Krishna Keshav Prabhu there. They book one deep book in you know, a chamber. Chamber, you know, at present you don't find. Previously, when my age was not so, that time I used to go travel with some Maharaj. There is one coop. Coop means in train there is one separate room. Pro close. You can close. Two or three Brahmachari or sannyasi can go, nobody disturbing him. But Maharaj actually was given, served with some prasadam. After taking prasadam, Maharaj speaking, uh, there is some milk. Then one of his godbrother, Naran, uh, I forget the name, uh, Naran, his name is Naran Chandra or something. He is joking, here is your mother. That your mother can arrange milk for child? What do you think? It is strange. How you can expect you know, milk? Eh? Speaking to Maharaj. Maharaj like child. Maharaj speaking. Uh, is there any milk? Milk? Your mother is there with you? So they can arrange milk for children? Eh? Child? Maharaj, what you are you thinking? After that, Maharaj is keeping silence, not speaking anything. Then in the meantime, Narottam Mahamachari and you know, Krishna Kesha Prabhu, they're going outside in the platform, there was one shop to get milk in a, in a pot and with full milk, they're bringing and Then Arunama saying, you see, where from this milk coming? Where from this milk coming? Krishna is there, na? Krishna arranged everything, whatever I need. So milk, where from coming? Just now you are joking with me, who can bring milk? Eh? Who bring milk? Vaishnavas, they are banchakalpa, we shielding tree. Vaishnavas, they are we shielding tree. Whatever you are going to demand from Vaishnava, Vaishnava can give you. You don't know their capacity. If you ask money position from Guru Vaishnava, they can, okay, take, take, take. You are asking stool and urine, okay, very cheap, you take. But if you want Krishna, then you have to wait. This way, Every time Mara used to preach, Mara used to used to keep only three sets of clothes. You know, suppose one cloth is wearing, and two set of clothes he can put. Well, suppose there is red, I will have to change another extra three. If somebody giving cloth, no, 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 don't give. I have already three. I have already three sets of cloth. What I can do? I cannot open. Mark. I cannot open shop of cloth. I cannot take. I cannot take. But well, Mara one cloth. No. I have three sets of clothes. When clothes gone, then I can. Bhagavan Krishna can send to me. When clothes gone, no clothes there. Krishna is there looking at me. He can give clothes to me. I cannot take. They have everybody strong to see. So simple hearted, so punctual, so perfect Siddhanta. So 100% believe in Guru Vaishnava. You cannot understand. It is one kind of, you know, Dream for us. One day, <coughs> Maharaj, <coughs> one day Maharaj gone to Kishanagar <coughs> Mat of Chaitanya Gauri Mat one branch. I also used to go. From Bindavan, I used to come and stay there. Damodar Maharaj used to love me. 
is a senior devotee of Madhu Goswami, used to stay there, no problem. A very Madhukuri, very small, no sabji, nothing. Uh, dal is very like water, but still I like. They are very poor. Follow. Sometimes they send me, Maharaj, you go for sabji bhikta. I want to market. Can you give something? I, you give for temple, seva. They used to give. I collect and give. This way, sometimes, rice. So, very poor temple. But still, there is peace. I used to speak Harikatha. Maharaj used to, you can speak Harikatha. Used to stay there, doing Harinam. Very nice. One day, our Arunna Maharaj gone there and staying there for two or three days. After staying, I told you, there is lying a flying Goryamat. He is here. Suddenly gone to somewhere. Fly. Where Maharaj gone? Maharaj gone. Suddenly Maharaj is, after two, three days, in the morning time, Maharaj gone to Mayapur. Oh, Maharaj, where gone? Ma Ma Mayapur. Mayapur gone. Maharaj coming to Mayapur, and Narottama Bhamushari there. Hey, why do you make my arrangement? Maharaj, actually you can stay inside the bhajan kutir of my Guru Maharaj. Madhukushi, because you are, uh, you, you know, God was no? Well, he is going to stay, step into the room, keeping the chapel outside. Madhukushi, bhajan kutir, Narottama Bhamushari allow this room for him, because he is great devotee, no? you can stay. No other arrangement that time was so much room was not there. Now they have countless rooms. Countless rooms they have. You cannot count how many rooms. But that time there was no. So you can say, okay. Then he is putting the chapel outside, going inside, putting all luggage, taking bath. After that coming, hey, where is my chapel? Maharaj, you put your chapel outside. Not a moment, you put your chapel outside. Here is the No, it is not my chapel. Maharaj, you come inside, this is your chapel. No, it is not my chapel. Maharaj, believe me, it is your chapel. You come inside, putting this chapel there. Oh my God. Then by mistakenly, I have taken the chapel of some Vaishnava. Oh my God, he started crying. Oh, he is going to catch, catch the chapel and putting in. Oh, some Vaishnava's chapel I for Mistakenly, I have taken this chapel. Oh my God, where I can go to hell? Follow. This way, he is going to put the chapel in a packet. But no, he is Vaishnava's chapel. Mistakenly, I am thinking, okay, I cannot put on this chapel. Well, he put inside one packet and finally going to uh, Krishnagar to deliver the chapel. But in the meantime, our Narottama Brahmachari went there for some reason. Before Maharaj lived Mayapur, before this Maharaj, Arunama lived Mayapur, our Bharati Bhaj went to Krishnagar. Krishnagar not likes it. Krishnagar not long distance. Now, nah, this is Mayapur. Krishnagar just, you know, 10 kilometers. So, Bharati Bhaj went, found there for some seva. There, some Brahmachari is speaking to Narottama, Narottama Prabhu. One sannyasi came here, a crazy sannyasi. You see the mood. You see the mood. Our Narottama Prabhu, Bharati Bhaj speaking, when I enter the temple, where from you are coming? Mayapur. One crazy sannyasi came, he took my chapel with him. Uh, well, very good, I am also using his chapel. You see the mood, you see the mood. Whereas Arunama is crying that I use the chapel of somebody. And he is speaking, some crazy sannyasi came here, he took my chapel. Well, it's very good, I am also using his chapel. This is the difference between, this is the difference between Bonded soul and pure Vaishnava. Follow. One day in Calcutta Gorimat, Aran Maharaj and another and a god brother of his god brother, they started killing, cleaning the chapel of other brahmacharis. Follow. There is shoe stand now, shoe stand. He's going to take and clean everything and put. Oh my God. Somebody informed Narthamut Brahmachari. Yeah, Maharaj touching this chapel, oh my God, better I can keep the chapel outside so that if, you know, if somebody is going to you know, steal, it's okay, but I can get some opera, Maharaj is going to chop chapel this way. So much belief. Follow. And whenever, whenever you are going, whenever, whenever anybody, 
anywhere going to meet him. First of all, it is his, it is his nature to put some question. Hey, you know, you speak the first sloka of Bhagavatam. He is asking to Narthama, you can speak. Janma, Dasriyatan. Okay, you can speak the meaning. Oh, Maharaj, why you speak the meaning? This was the nature of Aranamara. Any Brahmachari coming, he used to test him. He used to test him, his mood, his serving mood, his Vaishnava service too. Anywhere, anywhere. Going. First of all, putting, I hey, speak something about Vaishnava Darshan. Follow. This way used to serve, but no bank account, nothing. Only what is there in the pocket, that much. But great Vaishnava. Preaching in such a way, wherever he is going to preaching, preaching is successful. Successful. Everybody is going to feel some reaction inside heart. Follow. This way, Maharaj used to preach everywhere. Now, one day what happens, you know, Maharaj was feeling sick, very sick, very sick. Then North, Bharat, our uh, Madhu Goswami told, hey, you, you, well, you take Maharaj to a good doctor, giving order to North Tamarmachari. You take Maharaj to a good doctor, Go, going to doctor, doctor checking, Maharaj, you will have to be careful, your, your health is very bad. You have to very you have to take prasadam nice to take rest, follow and give some medicine and all the buy medicine coming, and just one night over I mean the med seva are going to give medicine, but the morning time seva asking Maharaj how you feel now. Seva asking to seva asking to Arunna Maharaj Maharaj how you feel now, you foolish I am always well I am always okay. I am never sick, I am not body, I am Atma. <laughs> I am Atma. Foolish you are asking me. Na jayate, mriyate, kadachi, kadachi, na This sloka is speaking. This sloka quoting from Gita, you foolish you are asking, I am always okay. I am not body, I am sweet. So Sevak is stunned. <laughs> Sevak cannot speak anything. This way, anyway, you know, he is going to prove, anyway he is going to prove there is a very perfect Vaishnav. So humility, so humbleness, yet some perfectness, so strictness, humbleness and strictness is not contradictory point. Somebody thinking, somebody thinking, Maharaj, humbleness and strictness cannot stay together. Who told? Somebody speaking, Humbleness and strictness cannot, I say yes, 100% hundred, hundred can stay. 100%. When is strictness, when there is strictness with anyone, that means he is humble. When there is no humble, no, uh, you know, no humbleness, no strictness. Kesav Kasi 100% strict, is humbleness. Sridhar Maharaj never wanted to compromise it. Even to Krishna Baba, you know, hey, go from temple, go away, go away. Go away from temple to God brother. To God brother, Krishna Baba Imaras, Sridhama speaking, you go away from temple. Go away. Don't stay here. He is going away. Morning time speaking, gone away. After evening time coming to uh, Maharaj to pay down. Hey, I told you to go away. Why you are coming? But you told me to go away. He never told you don't come again. So I go away again, come. You see the mood of Vaishnava. You told me to go away, I gone. And again I am coming. So you never told that and uh, you don't come back again. So you see their humbleness, their love for each other. Now politics, dirty politics. How to, you know, throw one Vaishnava, how to, all the politics going. This is our bhajan. This is our bhajan. Gauranga Mahaprabhu very happy by watching our bhajan and preaching. Mahaprabhu, you ask Mahaprabhu, very happy. Mahaprabhu is happy with the preaching of Aranya Maharaj. Not with the preaching what you are doing, like foolish and idiot. Mahaprabhu is happy with this <coughs> preaching of this illiterate man. He's very happy. Follow. This way, Maharaj used to preach. 
and sometime Maharaj becomes sick, and it happens so. In eyes, there is one layer, you know, layer coming in old age. Maharaj cannot see. Who are you? Standing here, cannot see. Because there is some layer, no? Cat it's called cater, what you say? I forget. I know. Then Madhubha is speaking, hey, Nartham Prabhu, you take Maharaj to a nice hospital where and spend money so that Maharaj can get back his vision power. Maharaj, you told, Gurudev told, okay, let us go. Doctor speaking, you must, you must keep Maharaj here. Doctor speaking, uh, Maharaj cannot stay here. Otherwise, we cannot make, because he is having sugar, pressure. Until and unless it comes back to a normal position, we cannot make operation. So, you will have to stay and take and a fruit, take, take the food of hospital. Oh, no, 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 no. He cannot take any food of hospital. So, then, Madam Maharaj, a hey, doctor, I can bring, I can bring, I can bring prasadam from Mart, but as per your prescription. I can bring prasadam from Mart, but it's not, it's Maharaj, no? but I can follow your prescription. You can make very light. Very light, there should not be any oil, fat, you know, where no sugar, nothing, very light. Okay. Then, Nautomamaja coming here, making a light preparation, very light preparation, like a, when a sick man. I'm going to carry Prasad. Every day, Maharaj checking. And sugar gradually coming to normal level. In the meantime, what happens? In the meantime, what happens? In temple, there is Govardhan Mao Sab Ki Jai Ho. Giriraj Maharaj Ki Jai Ho. Govardhan Utsab. Govardhan is something a puri, kachuri, sweet ball, no right, everything. Everything there. But anyway, Narottama Bhammachari is not going to violate the rules and regulations of doctor. He is going to sharp, very simple prasada. Maharaj is asking today's Govardhan, Govardhan Puja, why you are going to bring this not? Okay? Very light prasadam, nothing special. Giriraj Maharaj prasadam is very special. There is sweet ball, sandes, you know, cream, so paramana, so many things. Chana rasa, but nothing. In the meantime, one of his disciples, lady disciple, in the meantime, in the meantime, one of his lady disciple of the Arun Maharaj, he coming to Chaitanya Guru Calcutta, taking heavy prasadam of Giriraj Maharaj ki jai ho. After that, taking prasadam, he is going to make some packet for home. <laughs> because he has children, you know, they making some packet. Madhav Goswami, his heart is open. Very, very open. Oh, you take so much, you can take to home, no problem. Madhav Goswami, you know, is a record. A record. Madhav Goswami, his heart is so great that he can embrace the whole world and give prasadam. <laughs> no. <laughs> If you take so much and take, uh, how much you take to home? Okay, you keep, keep, keep. Uh, go. <laughs> then the Madhava are giving prasadam to that lady disciple. A lady disciple, he is supposed to go to home. She thought, well, I am going through this hospital. Let me check up what my, how I held up my Guru Maharaj. Eh? With this prasadam packet, it's coming out. I am going to hospital. Maharaj, how you are? Dandabad. Oh, you come. Ah, yes, sir. You are taking prasadam? Yes, sir. This prasadam? Why you are taking this prasadam? Today, Giriraj Puja. No, actually, Narottama gave me this prasadam. Oh my God, today is Giriraj Puja. Let me, let me give. He opened the packet and gave all sweet, all paraman, everything. I am Maharaj taking prasadam. Doctor going to check. Doctor going to check the sugar level. Just tomorrow, operation due. Doctor, how is possible? Sugar level jump high? Eh? It was under control almost. Sugar level was un almost under control. How possible? Who has done this mistake? Narottama Prabhu saying, Maharaj, you have taken that, that, um, that, you know, she came and <laughs> you took prasadam. How operation can be done? Again, two, five days they are delaying. <laughs> Again, two, two, five days they are waiting. To calm the sugar level to normal point, and that. But when Narutam Bhumachari putting question, Maharaj speaking Harikatha on this point. Follow. He's so, so joking. 
When Narottam Mamaji is asking, I give you this prasadam, why you are taking prasadam from her? Maharaj said, wait, wait, wait. He is going to speak some philosophy. You are doing your seva according to your duty. She is doing his, this, her seva according to love, affection. So I, I cannot violate. So I, Ma is going to speak some Siddhanta very nicely. Out of love, she is giving. How I can avoid? You know, you are doing your duty. Doctor told, so what to do? I cannot violate. So I took. This way, Maharaj used to give one by one argument very nice. So, finally what happens, you know, I like to speak so much, but time cannot permit. Finally, last moment, I mean, this day, this day meant this tithi, Shafala Ekadashi. This day, Maharaj went to Bashirhat, one uh, south portion of Bengal. South portion of Bengal, Bashirhat, one place. There he gone, and in Sundarban, you heard the name of Sundarban, forest Sundarban, just this side. But when the Maharaj is speaking Harikatha very nicely, with this day, Shapal Akadishi day, and going to explain some nice, nice sloka, all audience there, speaking so much Harikatha. In the meantime, Maharaj feeling some sickness. While speaking Harikatha, in the Basasa, he's feeling some sickness. Then devotees coming, they allow him to lie down, and he lie down, he is speaking Harikatha. When he lie down, he went, went on speaking Harikatha. After that, some time, he is going to leave his body, a very lucky man. Very lucky. Ekadoshi day, Harikatha going on, and he is going to leave body today. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are always grateful to Him. Such a rare Vaishnava. I know you can ignore Him. I know you can insult Him. You can say, He is illiterate, He has no education, He is useless. But I can prove one by one. You are not giving me time. One by one, one one incident I can show you and prove how much humility is there. How much Trinadopi, how much Siddhanta Bichar, how much efficiency, how much Guru, love for Gurudev. But I know you can, I know you can ignore him. Ah, you are useless, you can speak. I know you can speak. Where you are popped up now, you have big society, big anama. I know you can, I know you can, you can ignore, but I cannot ignore. If I get that Vaishnav, I can embrace a lotus feet and cry. You bless me, Kipa. I know the gravity of Vaishnava, pure Vaishnava, by the mercy of Guru Padma. I also understand the you know, glories of those cheater. There's my eyes, Guru, they make my eyes such a way, if I look at somebody, I can understand he's a cheater. It's a miracle. Like Bharati Maharaj, used to look at anybody, Santu Maharaj, they can understand who is cheater, who is preacher. He cannot cheat me. So, if I can get Aran Maharaj here, I can go and jump onto his lotus feet like a dog. So nice was Only by hearing his glories, I am sold onto his lotus feet. But sorry, I cannot get his. Uh, maybe in fine form he can come and bless me. But I am missing their association. But still, in my bhajan life, I got the association of so many devotees. That is also a blessing. But anyway, he gone long ago, not today, long ago, long ago. Anyway, so today is also, uh, I'm very sorry to stop here his glorification. I like to beg for pardon and keep up from that Maharaj. And today also, I would like to speak something about Sri Devananda Pandit Tirobhaptiti. Very, very vital. Only on these topics, if I go on speaking, you can understand what is the gravity. But sorry, I have no time. What is the gravity of this bichar? Not that Devananda government, not that Devananda Pandit done offense, so we can ignore him, not that. It is one kind of leela. You know the case. Before Chaitanya Mahapur took birth, try to understand. Before Chaitanya Mahapur took birth, appeared. One day, our Sivas Pandit went to attend the Bhagavad Katha of, of that, you know, Devananda Pandit. Because that time, 
because that time he was the main speaker of Bhagavatam. At that time, he was the main speaker of Bhagavatam in Navadip. So, Shivas Pandi went there. Shivas Pandi is sitting among audience, hearing Harikatha. But while hearing Harikatha, all the topics of Bhagavatam is full of prema, prema rasa. So, Shivas Pandi is feeling some reaction. Shivas Pandi is feeling some reaction by hearing Harikatha. He started crying, crying. Then all this foolish disciple of you know, student of Devananda Pandit, they're feeling disgusted. Hey, why you are crying that? Uh, let us carry him. They are going to carry, uh, they are going to carry all together, they are going to carry whom? Sivaspani and put outside get. Huh? Useless. But they don't know who is they don't know who is Sivaspandi. They have no idea who is Sivaspandi. Mahaprabhu even before taking birth. But when Mahaprabhu went to express his Bhagavad Sarup here in Shiva Sangan, Mahaprabhu said, You can remember, Shivas, you can remember long before you went to attain the Bhagavad Katha of Devananda Pandit and the foolish Devananda Pandit and his you know, students, they wanted to throw you. You can remember? They stunned Mahaprabhu before taking birth. It happened. But Bhagavan is omnipresent anyway. Bhagavan is omnipresent, na? Nah? Bhagavan can know. Mahaprabhu saying, you can remember long ago, I mean before birth, taking birth. So that was a, that was a great offense. But when Mahaprabhu took birth, I mean appeared, after growing up, growing up, growing up, growing up, and become great, you know, Pandit, everything. Then by chance one day, <coughs> Ma Mahaprabhu going that way. And he discovered Devananda Pandit explaining Bhagavatam. Mahaprabhu became very angry. You foolish! You are discussing Bhagavatam. You have any idea what is Bhagavatam? Eh? You know what is Bhagavatam? Eh? You are going to. Eh? What meaning you can know? What meaning you can know? In Chaitanya Bhagavatam speaking, Mahaprabhu going to catch the Bhagavatam and snatch from him. He has no right to, he has no right to, he has no right to, you know, explain Bhagavatam. He is foolish number one. He has no right. Only if you become Bhagavat, only when you can become Bhakta Bhagavat, then you can understand Gandhi. Not before that, you foolish. Mahaprabhu wants to catch, snatch book. That was great offense. So he was devoid of bhakti. Though he is reciting Bhagavatam every day. So what? He is reciting Bhagavatam every day, but he is devoid of bhakti due to offense. Committed unto a lotus feet of spirit. One day what happens? Our Bhakteshwar Pandit. Bhakteshwar Pandit, you know? You don't know? Are Bhakteshwar Pandit used who used to dance seven to two hours at a time at a stretch? You have no idea. Are Bhakteshwar the main parsad of Gauranga Mahaprabhu? Gopal Guru Goswami is the disciple of Bhakteshwar And Dhanchat, Dhanchat is the disciple of Gopal Guru Goswami. You have no idea. No foolish, like foolish you are doing bhajan. No idea. Bhakteshwar is the main number one, this, you know, parsad. He used to. 72 hours, Seven, come on, 72 hours, at a stretch. At a stretch, no, no water, no food, no urine, nothing. You cannot believe it is written in Chaitanya. 72 hours at a time, you can stretch. That also not going to stop. After that, devotees are going to stop because they are tired feeling. After that, one day what happens? Devananda Bandit got information that one great devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Gauranga. By that time, Gauranga gone to Puri after taking sannyas. Oh, he come. He is dancing nicely and singing. Oh, let me go. He took decision to attend that function. When he approach, when he approach and attend the function, he look at Bhaktisar Pandit, he gone mad. He gone mad by hearing the sweet kirtan and dancing. I myself idiot. I think I am the pandit of Bhagavatam. 
What do I know? So nice kirtan. By hearing the kirtan of Bhakisha Pandi, everybody shedding tears. They are feeling some reaction. Oh my God, a great devotee. Today I have the chance, you know, he is taking one stick. He is taking one stick in hand and going to control, control the congestion, you know, there. Hey, don't come, don't come. He is going to check. All people coming now, so thousands of people. Hey, don't disturb him. He is going with one stick. With one stick, with one stick, with one stick, with one stick at hand, he's going to check all the, you know, rush. Mahaprabhu, sitting inside, Mahaprabhu was very happy. Mahaprabhu was very happy by watching this seva. Mahaprabhu sitting inside. When Mahaprabhu came, <coughs> when Mahaprabhu came, from Purushottam Dham to take birth in Ganga, Mahaprabhu came to Kuliya, that Kuliya, Kuliya, that side. Follow. Then Devananda Bharani is going and taking pain. You please, excuse me, I have done some, I am very, you know, false ego there. You please excuse me, I have done mistake. Well, I can excuse you because I am very happy. I am very happy that you have done a nice seva of pure Vaishnava, Bhakyasa Pandit. But you will have to go immediately to Sivas Pandit and catch his lotus feet and beg for pardon. That you are. I can give you prema. <coughs> so Devananda Gondit was ignored by Mahaprabhu in first hand. But later he was accepted. And one very vital point, our Parampujavad Bhakti, Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj. Going to keep the name of Mahat is Devananda Gauri Maharaj. Everybody asking, why? Why he could keep Chaitanya Gauri Maharaj, Sri Chaitanya Gauri Maharaj, you know, Sri Chaitanya Ashram. But why is going to give this kind of unusual name? Devananda Gauri Maharaj. Devananda Gauri Maharaj explaining, I am going to keep the name of this temple, Devananda Gauri Maharaj. I like to uh, give you a reminder that don't try to make any mistake unto the lotus feet of Vaishnav. That's why I keep. When you are hard, oh, Devananda Guru, oh, that was a big, big offense was there. So we should not do it. To remember this incident, follow. Purposely, Paramahya Keshav Goswami, very intelligent, fine brand is to keep the name of the temple, Devananda Gurima. Anyway, that temple, that, that side of river is called Kuliya Aparad Bhanjan Pat. You know Bengali? Kuliya Aparad Bhanjan Pat. You don't understand. Kuliya, that side, Aparad Bhanjan. I mean, offense gone. Kuliya Aparad Bhanjan Pat. Mean, offense done by Devananda Gurnit was destroyed Finished there. It is the name Kuliya Aparat Banyan Pad. So, our great Guru Pat Padma, Srila Siddhar Goswami Maharaj, he wanted to make a very small temple there in Kuliya. Like, I, am, I, have done, I have done offense, you know, all the time, humble. I have done so much offense. I have done so much offense. Where I can get? So, better I can say here. Yeah. Because someday Mahaprabhu can, Aparat Banyan Patna. So, someday Mahaprabhu can become happy and give. So, Siddhar Maharaj with this mood, Keshav Maharaj with this mood, they all with this mood, and open one temple. Nice bhajan. Follow. Also, I like to touch some vital point anyway. What is that vital point? I like to touch again that sloka. What is that? Aham betti, shuka betti, basho betti, no betti va, bhaktya bhagavata. Bhagavata Grajya. No buddhya, no tikvaya. By tika explanation, by, in, by your uh, memory, you cannot understand. Aham bhakti, shukha bhakti. Shankar Bhagavan speaking, uh, by the mercy of Bhagavan, I know the gist, I mean the feeling of Bhagavatam. Shukha bhakti, Goswami bhakti. But I am not sure that Bhajadev knowing or not knowing. Can know, cannot know. Somebody is going to put question, I already give answer, previous Harikatha. But I like to touch one vital point. I am taking one point from Chaitanya Charitamrita. You can grow. There is 
One point, Mahaprabhu himself speaking. <coughs> Mahaprabhu himself speaking in Sanatana Sikha. <coughs> in Sanatana Sikha, Mahaprabhu himself speaking to Sanatana Sanatana. Bhagavad is eternally present. We know it very well. Srimad Bhagavad Gita Mahaprabhu is eternally present in eternal world. Only sometimes appear, disappear. Mahaprabhu speaking, not that Vasudev Goswami is going to compile. It was only by the mercy, desire of Bhagavan, Vasudev Goswami, Saktave Zapara, and by. So, Vasudev Goswami is one kind of instrument. If you don't understand this point. So, I thought I, today I can touch this point again. Because Vasudev Goswami is not the writer, not the compiler. Only Mahaprabhu speaking in Chaitanya Chaitanya. Only by the desire of Bhagavan, all appear, Bhagavad appear inside his heart. Even he is not the writer. Because Ganapati Maharaj, Ganesh, 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 you know, Ganesh wrote. He is not even the writer. He only appearing and speaking. Appearing and speaking. Ganapati Maharaj writing and his. Follow. So, it is a document I, you can find. Mahaprabhu himself speaking, he is not the writer, he is not the compiler. Mahaprabhu speaking, he was one kind of instrument. So, you have no right to speak that Shankar Bhagavan has spoken wrong. This kind of comment should not be there, you cannot speak. Because Shankar Bhagavan is Tattabhid, he is speaking, Bhaiyas can know, cannot, I don't know. May I know something or oh, cannot know? But they, because anyway there is not the there is not in the list in the list of those dadas mahajan there is no the name of Vasudev Goswami not there. I, I, or okay okay if at all if you think uh, anyway Bhagavad appeared inside him, he not knowing okay if he is knowing hundred percent then why he is going to attend the Bhagavad Katha spoken by his son Shukdev follow point he is having full knowledge. He need not attend. If Vasudev Goswami having some false ego, I, I am the compiler of Bhagavatam. Why should I attend uh, the Harikatha, I mean Bhagavad Katha spoken by a small son of 16 years only? 16 years only? Eh? Vasudev Goswami is not going to express this kind. Follow. Vasudev Goswami never speaking, I am the compiler. So why should I? Oh, come on! Vaisdev Goswami coming, his father, grand-grandfather, all coming. Grand-grand-grandfather, all coming. Because, because they understand, they realize that we can get the actual cream of Bhagavatam from the lotus mouth. Of, because Shukadev Goswami is not ordinary. Shukadev Goswami himself, Krishna. Krishna coming in the form of Shukadev. You don't know. That day told from Bhagavatam. Documents from glorification. Nanda nandan sukastu, nanda nandan, nanda nandan Krishna stu, shuk, nanda nandan Krishna shukde pushan. Coming in the form of shukde, impossible. In Bhyad Bhagavatam to also I touch this point. Perhaps you forget. Anyway, today I am going to stop my brief discussion, a small discussion. Anyway, a brief discussion today. And the sloka I started with, I should touch it. Karma avalambaka kachit, kachit gyan avalambaka, bayam tu haridasanam padatran avalambaka. What do you mean? Somebody following the track of karma, somebody following the track of jnana, but we are following the track of Vaishnava by catching the shoes, chapel of Vaishnavas on our head. Karma avalambaka kechid, kechid gyan avalambaka. Bayam tu hari dasanam padatran avalambaka. Panchakalpadurusa ke pasindhubhuj. Patitanang pavana bhavishnabhyo.